Hey, Mike Mike Motorcycle here. I thought I'd take the same walk as I took in the Falling Behind uh, three videos I did. And uh, this time it's daylight, so you'll actually get a view of uh, everything that you couldn't quite make out before. So, uh, off we go. So, uh, I figured I'd uh, try and make uh, several videos out of this walk as well and uh, well I'll make my first one as a uh, response to Suburban Rider so uh, you said that you're uh, Indian that you're riding in the video that I'm uh, making this as a response to is a parallel twin um, and I know that the Vulcan 500 that you own is also a parallel twin. Now, while you say that the uh, V-twins have a lower center of gravity than parallel twins, to my knowledge, V-twins tend to be larger engines on heavier bikes. While all motorcycles are heavy and it's skill not strength that should be that should be used a uh... sorry I was looking around to see what the sirens were I don't know if you could hear those or not anyway I was saying uh... about skill not strength uh, should be used that uh, basically a lighter bike with a smaller engine is always what's recommended for new riders. For me I decided that the uh, first motorcycle for me would be a Vulcan 500. Um, now I had many reasons for making that decision um, but one of them that uh, is applicable here is that um, after having sat on uh, a whole bunch of makes and models of motorcycle um, I felt that the 500 had a lower center of gravity than most I can't ride yet But I, sent, I spent a uh, great deal of time sitting on the 500 more than once so I could test my ability to balance the bike uh, while it's that stationary. Um, when it's stationary, it's easiest to tip over. And, uh, you know, when, uh, when any kind of a two-wheel vehicle... Um, picks up uh, enough speed they become gyroscopically balanced. It's when it's stationary that uh, you don't have that going for you. I tried balancing the 500 You're going the wrong way. This is a one way. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah, they just turned in onto a one way street. <laughs> so, uh, I was saying that I was, uh, I tried balancing the Vulcan, uh, First with the kickstand down uh, as a precaution, and uh, once I became comfortable, I put the kickstand up and slowly increased the difficulty um, of my balancing test.
there is so much more traffic when it's daylight. And there's so much traffic going over the inter interstate. I'm not sure how, uh, how clear my voice comes through. I'm just going to wait till I get to the other side. I'm nearly there. Hopefully that's uh, quieter now. Anyway, um, once I became comfortable uh, enough with the balancing tests, I put the kickstand up and uh, slowly increased the difficulty of my balancing tests. Um, I tried two feet down rocking and swaying, turning the handle, uh, turning the handlebars, uh, mounting and dismounting, left foot down with right foot on the rear brake, both feet lifted about an inch uh, to make sure that it was all 100% balance and to see how long I could maintain it. standing up to support and balance the bike between my legs and sitting in a relaxed position for an extended period of time. Every test I'd tried uh, was intended to help simulate actual balancing conditions that a rider, myself or whomever, uh, would be likely to encounter uh, in a stationary position. Um, other exercises that I wasn't willing to try because I didn't own the bike that I was trying this on, I was at the dealership, uh, would have been uneven and unlevel terrain, uh, uphill and downhill slopes, uh, different surfaces like dirt, gravel, grass and sand. Since all the tests I tried were at the dealership, uh, the gas tank was empty, which is an important consideration. Bear with me just a moment. Alright, and uh, I'm going to break stream to point out that I'm at the uh, Haunted Cathedral again. I'm not really going to stop for too long in front of it this time. Anyway, 
I was mentioning about the uh, gas tank being empty at the dealership, um, which is an important consideration when uh, judging the total balance of a motorcycle. The gas tank, when full, slightly raises the motorcycle's center of gravity. Um, naturally, larger tanks. Um, uh, very uneven terrain here. You know, there used to be a building right here. I guess they finally tore it down. I love how they've got a uh, street sign here. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I was saying that uh, larger tanks would naturally raise the center of gravity more, and uh, of course, don't and don't forget the uh, influence of the gasoline moving and sloshing around uh, inside of the tank. So. I was uh, I was wondering what your overall experience uh, with your Vulcan 500 uh, has been where stationary balance is concerned. Interesting. This Jeep here has uh, it's incredibly rusted out, but. It looks like uh, it's kind of got some camo going to it here. Oh, and an easy chair in the back. Interesting. You won't like me. You put me on fucking internet. You don't like me.